up, bro? What's, What's going, going on? on? What's up? Hey, Is this hat okay? Where do you got that hat, bro? I got it. I got it from a Trump rally, bro. <laughs> I, need, I need one of those. I need one. You do need one of these. <laughs> hey. I got this one. Hey, you're good. Right, I can do this one, too. I like that one. I like that Illegal one. immigration kills. Shout out to Jesse Suave. I could do this. Look really cool. Hey, your hat game, bro. Your hat game is like. <laughs> You're ridiculous. When you wear this one, you gotta go like this, though. Oh yeah, yeah, like Anthony. Like uh, Anthony thinks. Anthony thinks because he's from Texas, he knows how to wear a hat. He sucks. <laughs> I know. I know he knows how to eat tacos. I know that. Oh no, no, twelve. <laughs> Remember that? Twelve, bro. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, here, I'm good, bro. I'm good, man. You know, other than the media lies and all the nonsense that's going on, but you know, the truth will prevail. So we're just rocking and rolling. Hey, but what what's going on with this guy? What, what, you're gonna put press charges on him? He has a rap sheet, bro. Does he? The, this guy that went to your uh, to your house. Oh, yeah. that guy. Yeah. He's just a nut, man. Um, you know, I, I'm calling him affectionately uh, Miguel Arias' little brother. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. The guy's just a nut. We're, we'll probably get a restraining order on him. I guess uh, I got contacted by Fresno PD and a bunch of buddies that work in law enforcement. They're like, yeah, he's, he's blocked from every uh, city building in Fresno and all over the place. So he's just – he's crazy. He was drunk. If he comes back – Oh yeah, he was totally drunk. Yeah, he could have got oh, arrested for drunk in public, but bro, they were they, they people were concerned. You cannot take that guy out. I'm like, man, you guys don't even know man how strong he is, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can take him out in a minute, man. In a minute. Uh, hey, that was. Hang, hang on a second. Yeah. Hey, why are you such a racist? That's what I want to know. That's what. <laughs> What's up if, if you're, talk, if you're talking to me, if you're talking to me, that's what the left says, man. Oh. All these lies. Wow. Well, you, know these, so, yeah. you know what's so sad about it, though, is, hang on one second, one second, I'm just sharing this. They're saying that we wrestle naked, uh, man. I'm going to have to pass on that one. It's going to be a hard no. <laughs> I, I know somebody that runs without that you froze i think he froze guys he froze ah he froze you're froze man i think he received a phone call uh that's him you know they <laughs> this is how we, uh, Ben, you interrupted that guy and his mistress. Uh, probably is, he will come back. Uh, ben, if you're hearing me, you froze. Your screen froze. So I don't know. Probably you got a phone call. Probably you had a phone call or something. Uh, but just so you guys know, uh, that's the way he's watching. I didn't know that he was watching. <laughs> uh, you know, that's uh, practically the way that, uh, you know, we've been... Uh, attacked uh and there's no problem oh, ben wants to join again all right here we go approve adding let me go to another place that is hey you got you got froze right there yeah somebody called me okay. you're always a guy that gets a phone calls. yeah whatever i had to, especially now man you getting them from all kinds of crazy people <laughs> Hey, Pat, so what's the next step? What are you going to do with that? With, with, you know, with everything going on over there. Hey, you know, you know it's God really... It, it's, what's that? God bless Fresno police, man. They were really nice people. Oh, I know. It's really, it's really up to uh, the DA to decide what she's going to do. And, you know, we'll see. We'll see what uh, what happens. It's funny. They, they had a little group of uh, pro areas protesters out there today, <laughs> which is ironic because he's the one that's pushing for the shutdown. So they're protesting. They, they don't want people out protesting to reopen Fresno, but yet they're going to go out and protest a guy who on video was shown to be a violent thug. Uh, it's just, you know, it's just the irony of all of it. It's just crazy. And then he calls us racist as he's trying to 
push a black guy down the stairs. I'm like, just, I, I just like the whole thing, man. He, what's sad to me though is the mainstream media just pushes this. A local station uh, or a paper called the Fresno Bee, just awful. They're, you know, they basically whatever he says, they just write it down as if it's the truth, and that's the problem. Is we have we don't have real journalists uh, anymore, except for no, you, me. You're, but you're the only one, bro. <laughs> that's you know, there's there's in Fresno, the Channel Twenty Six is pretty decent. Uh, on radio, the only one that's done the story any justice so far that I've seen was fifteen fifty. I mean, the biggest radio station in Fresno, KMJ, basically just ate up what the Democrats were saying about it, and this is the problem. So I was thinking about it. I was like, a couple things. Mm. Yeah. Well, how do Democrats get away with lies? And they get away with them because the media pushes them with them. They basically, the media tells them with them. But also, what happens in situations like this? I've noticed this. Democrats, they circle the wagons around their person. Even if the person is a scumbag like Arias, they circle mm -hmm. the wagons around. Republicans, we circle a firing squad. Even yeah. if the person is right. It's like Republicans are so afraid of controversy it, you know, it's like all the politicians that are out there. It's the, it's the new mantra, thou shalt not offend. And it's that's the reason why we're losing. You know, I mean, it's like, look, and all, as far as the incident went, it wasn't good. It wasn't he healthy. It wasn't like a positive thing for either side. I don't think it, it made us look good. I, I, you know, it's not something I, I would have wanted to have oh, happen. Man. Come on, bro. I'm just serious. Bro, I'm serious. Dude, I'm serious. Bro, these people are stepping all over the Constitution. They're stepping all over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. That's Come that's on, separate. This was just no, no. Nothing in comparison to what they're doing, bro. I know. I know. I know. I know. But that's the problem. Is it distracts from that, and that's what we need to be focused on. This guy is destroying the Constitution. Now he's had four days to do this victim tour, trying to make up lies that's and pretend idea, that he's in the right. But the the moral the moral of the story is they're destroying our country. Yesterday, think about this. Yesterday, they voted in Fresno to give more money to illegal aliens. I mean, as all this is happening, as businesses are shutting down forever, Holy the city of Fresno is giving more money to help support illegal aliens that are struggling through the COVID pandemic. That is how out of touch these politicians are. And the same thing. I mean, our governor just announced we're $54 billion in debt, yet he gave $100, billion, or $100 million to homeless he wasted a billion dollars on Chinese masks. And, I mean, it's just like they're so they're so so completely out of touch. And that's what I hope people realize. I hope the left realizes that. Hey Ben, those stimulus checks need to stop because they're keeping people at home. Yeah, that's it. That's right. They're you know, they're keeping people at home. That's how's the family? Good man. How's your thing? It's so weird, man. I shared this, and it's not going anywhere. This thing is like they are censoring the heck out of you. No, it's all right. Hey, hey, why are you doing it in portrait, man? You know you're supposed to do it in landscape, right? Uh, uh, because, you I, thought, I thought we talked that. about this. <laughs> <laughs> my hands are not like yours, bro. You're like, you fuck is it? You can use an iPhone 10 uh, and I can like, flip it around. Hey, uh, so... I'm hoping to see you real, real, real near, okay? Yeah, I'm waiting, man. You tell me. Yes, yes. You tell me when. We got this big surprise for you guys coming up, man. Uh, it's going to be awesome, with the, guys. With the greatest patriot that exists that is Ben. You guys already know. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know. <laughs> just, don't run, just don't run out without a shirt, please, anymore. Just don't do it, that. Don't do it, that. No, 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 stop. <laughs> Ice cream and crepes. Ice cream and crepes, bro. Hey, I love you, bro. Yeah. Love you too, man. Uh, you know, I'll see you thank soon. You. Thank you for coming in here, bro. All right, man. I'm glad hey, I caught you. Hey, you look good with a hat. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Thank you. I'll see you soon. I'll talk to you soon. Blessings, brother. Okay. God bless you, bro. All right. See you, man. I don't know how to get off. Can you, you turn me off? And the X. You got to push the X. I'll push the Okay. Okay. You don't want to go away? You want to stay with me? <laughs>